Hey guys, it's Brandon. By the way, that audio guy. Today we're going to learn how to bounce audio in place in Studio One. So basically what that is, is that lets you take like a virtual instrument and make it an audio track. This is helpful when you want to either render out the audio to manipulate it, or if you want to do some reverse things or whatever you may want to do. So you can do that of one of two ways. Right click, bounce selection, or bounce to new track. These will both add on the plugins that you have put onto your original track and it will mute your old track. Okay, so then you can go in and reverse it. So that's really helpful if you wanna do that. So if you want to combine clips that are already chopped up like we have here, you can push Command B and that will create a new audio file. So there's blank space. So you see that that number increases, okay? because we just created a new file. Or you can bounce them to a new track by doing Command Option B, which puts them all on this new track. Or you can push G, and that will combine all of these clips, although it will not create a new track. So it's still on 32, see? So if we were to undo that and push Command B, we're now at 45 because that creates a new track. So you want to use a new track when you're doing things, like I said, manipulating the audio so you don't manipulate the original, whereas G will just keep it all organized together without actually creating a new physical file on your hard drive. Remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel and also sign up for the email list where you will get exclusive stuff that we only send to the people on that list. And also head over to itsthataudioguide.com and I will see you guys soon.